Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you how to um, basically copy a set of values so it's going to look at the range values in A1 um, and copy them into the yellow values. I've also included a message box, uh, sorry, a command button to click to copy the values and it'll come up with a prompt. Um, but I also want to show you if you click no, um, you can actually handle that and if you click cancel as well you can do something else. So this is how I've approached it, I'll talk you through it, because this is just something that I've just designed previously. So edit. So first of all, what I did is dimmed, obviously created a sub, so I'll just let me public sub. Okay, so I've dimmed my messages variant, so it can be any any data type. And then I've signed my message to a message box. Do you want to run this procedure? And I've then specified after the comma that this is going to be through a VB question. And then I've indicated that I also want to have a VB yes, no, and cancel. So if you want to use two types, you need to include the uh, addition symbol. Okay, so then I've used an if, if, else, if construct to show you how to actually use if, else, ifs. So basically, this, what this is saying is if my message, i.e., the message box, clicks VB yes then range A2 to A5000 so I'm, I'm just basically going all the way down that range I could have gone to the end of the range which is something like um, let's just show you you could specify all the way down um, which is like a I forget what it is in Excel 2010 but it's something like 75,000 records down or something like that Okay, so let's go back into that. Sorry, just digress for a moment. Okay, so the VB message equals VB yes. Then, so basically saying if it's if it is yes. So if the user clicks yes, then range A two to range A five thousand dot select. Then from that select, you use the operator selection dot copy, and then after this, it shows you where. Do you want to copy? That then states that I'm going to copy to range B2 downwards. And then this basically says that with the active sheet, i.e., the sheet that's in currently in focus, dot paste. And then I've set range c view back to not because if you see down here, if you click no, it basically says you said no. So I'll go through this. So the else if procedure here, my message equals VB cancel, then message what cancelled, or you can do anything you want with that. Message what cancelled, and then use the operator exit sub. That basically exits this current sub that we're in, this public sub, which is copy else range dot value you said no I don't know what that is that must have been something from earlier let's get rid of that okay so let me let me demonstrate this you know so let's do, let's go through all the way through it so and so these things always happen when you're doing demonstrations okay so as you can see, Excel comes up with, do you want to run the procedure and specified VB yes, no and cancel with a VB question mark. I could have put a title on here. All you need to do there is just add an extra comma to the end of your uh, message box. So I'm going to click no and it says in C1 lot you clicked no because I specified the range C1 value is that text string. So if I cancel, you cancelled. Okay. So let's show you that again, cancel. So if I click yes, is basically what I want to do is I want to copy these values, every value down A1, to B2 downwards. So there. And it's copied my data set downwards. And that's basically how you create that uh, macro. I do it again. Yes, copies anything. If I had um, 18, 19, 20, 21. Do it again. Yeah. And if I add 22, 23, 
There you go. Um, 24, 25. Uh, that, if I just do it this way a lot, I can put a formula in and go that plus 1 and just take it down. So I can drag it down a few more cells. Okay, I'll do it again. One procedure. And that's basically how I use the copy function. I'll go through that again. Let's just examine the code once more. Copy. So, range A2 to 5000. You can basically go all the way down, or you could use the Excel up function. I'll show you how to do that another time. Selection.copy. Range B2.select. Where do you want to copy it to? Active sheet.paste. So, that selection pastes. And then it sets range C1 value back to nothing text string. Else if the message is VB cancelled, then message box equals cancelled and it exits the sub. Else range C1 dot value, you said no. End if. And that's the end of the presentation. Hope you enjoyed it. And I'll see you next time, guys. Thank you.